So this standalone Batman film, rumored to maybe be called The Batman, hasn't had the easiest time in the past few weeks. From losing directors, to gaining directors, to losing directors again, to then gaining that same director back, there haven't really been too many great headlines for this film. So today I thought I'd talk about what I think would, one, save this film if it's in any kind of trouble, which it might be, and two, from there actually make it an awesome film, hopefully. So without further ado, let's get into it. So, a while back, there was this big rumor that this film was going to focus on Batman basically fighting his way out of Arkham Asylum. He's putting some villain there, then something happens and the place goes into lockdown, and he's trapped there, and now Batman has to fight his way out of basically where all of his villains are. Now, I don't know if this was just a rumor, or if they were actually considering doing this, but let me just say, that sounds awesome. Batman making his way through all the villains he's put away with a very Arkham game kind of vibe to it? Hell yeah. Also, I think this would be a really good opportunity to show Batman interacting with the Suicide Squad more, which was very brief in the actual Suicide Squad film, but was one of the most enjoyable parts. I know it's going to be a little complicated since they're locked up in that Bell Rev place now, but somehow, if they're able to do it, it'd be great to just have Batman come across Deadshot or Harley Quinn or have a fight with Killer Croc in some capacity. And if they're utilized well, it could bring people who really didn't like the Suicide Squad film over to be more open to seeing these characters going forward. But, in addition to using villains we've already seen from this universe, they should also... Batman! And look, I know I've gotten very hung up on the villains here right off the bat, but whatever. Batman's villains are amazing. This is really the first time we have a chance to see true modern day comic book Batman. Because while Nolan's Batman is phenomenal, it's not very comic booky. And besides, while I haven't loved the films in the DCEU yet, I really want to see what they do with certain characters. So let's see this universe's version of Bane, or Scarecrow, or the Penguin, or Mr. Freeze, or all these iconic villains. Or better yet, let's show villains that have never been portrayed in a film before. It'd be awesome to see Ben Affleck Batman going up against a huge Clayface, or Hush, or Mr. Zazz. Batman's got this huge, awesome rogues gallery, so they should show it beyond the most famous and popular characters. <laughs> In Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad, we got little hints at this Batman's past, but I want this film to really explore it. Not only his past fights with other villains and his earlier altercations with the Joker and how he became what he is today, but also give us more of the Bat family. Let's get more Jeremy Irons as Alfred, he was awesome. Show us what happened to Robin, and how many other Robins there have been. And hey, Nightwing's getting a film, let's have him pop up. Batgirl could do something here, as long as she's not hooking up with Batman on rooftops, I think it'd be great to see her here. Just anything like that. Sure, you can have cameos from Justice League members and other DC characters if you want, but this is a Batman-specific story, so I'd really like to see more of this character's world. And my final point for the Batman is... Now look, I'm not going to get super into this because everyone, including myself, has already talked this to death, so I'm just going to say, don't have Batman kill in this film like he very rampantly did in Batman v Superman. And I know some people are going to say, but he's a darker, more damaged Batman, he doesn't follow the rules anymore, or something like that. Which I still think isn't doing the character justice, but still, if that's the case, then at least address it. Just have Alfred sit down with Bruce and be like, Hey, remember when you didn't murder people? Remember when you didn't blow up cars full of nameless henchmen who probably had children? Yeah, maybe go back to that. Just something like that is all I'm looking for. So those were my wishes for the next Batman film. What are yours? Let me know all of your thoughts down below in the comments. While you're at it, be sure to like this video, check out my Instagram and Twitter at BHL underscore Hudson, and subscribe for more videos like the one you just watched. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.